How can you tank one of the best portable DAC amps ever? The kind of thing you'd throw in your pocket with your phone while on the go with your favorite wired closed backs and make it any better. How about building in a pretty functional equalizer and best of all, adding USB-C? Enter the Mojo 2 by Cord Electronics, the very faithful follow-up to the great Cord Mojo 1. Finally, it has come, the Cord Mojo 2, and I was pretty excited about this one because, as I said in the intro, the first one was nigh perfect. But this brings some more modern functionality that we expect now that we are over the 2020s. And I decided to test this guy out with the ever-faithful Alta-Z LCD Xs. They're an industry reference, a great headphone for comparing different amps and stuff against, and most of you know them, and I know them well, so good partner for this little project. Check out our video on them right there, just for good measure. Now, Mojo 2. Can't wait to tell you guys about some of the new additions here. Just some small but necessary things. Before we get there though, don't forget, subscribe to the Gramophone channel, click that bell icon, lots of cool content on the way. Oh, and question of the day. To date, what has been your favorite portable audio product? Whether it's a headphone amp like this or even just a portable speaker, let me know down in the comments. Cord is known as probably one of the best proprietary manufacturers of audio electronics currently in the world. A lot of manufacturers out there in the world of audio electronics, and this is not a slight against them, by the way, but a lot of them are using chipsets, particularly DACs and things of the like, that come from other companies that were manufactured to be what we call an off-the-shelf product, as in something you can buy it from them and then use it in your product. Many things that perform very similar maybe even sound very similar across different brands and can just get a little bit bloated, maybe is the word. Cord does something really cool. They make decks, they make their own. And what makes Cord special is, not only do they use this very cool way of making a deck, but they do all of the programming and tuning and testing right in-house. And it's made for some of the best products in the world. Perhaps you guys have heard of Cord's really wide range of products, whether it was the first Mojo, which of course this was born from, or their range-topping, incredible Ultima amps, preamps, Dave DAC, you know, stratospheric level audio stuff. They know something about audio. Cool thing about Cord products, most of them come really well packaged. This is a very Apple-esque box, which I think is about the highest compliment I can pay, because regardless of what you think of Apple, you can't argue with their packaging, and Cord is right there with them. Open this guy up and on top we've got some quick start guides. These have always been really helpful from Cord about understanding their little coding system of how they use different colored lights to indicate different functions or levels of playback or even volume level. Lift up the flap here and here's our Mojo 2. Nicely securely packed and underneath that you get a micro USB and you get a donate. Same body, almost same everything, but you're probably noticing some subtle differences already. So after all, this is the two. Maybe, and now that we've got two extra switches on top and they're a little smaller, dedicated power, a dedicated menu button for adjusting the new built-in equalizer, which is pretty cool. And then my favorite, of course, what's that right there? Taking the place of the old foot, USB-C. About time. So let me show you guys how it works. You're gonna hold down the power button. It's gonna kick on. Takes a little second here for it just to fire up all of its internal amps. And once it does, you'll notice your volume start to light up. So just watch closely for a second. There you go. And as you turn it up or down, that color changes to let you know your volume level. Cooler colors are actually more volume, whereas warmer colors are actually less. So red would be about the bottom, other than just being completely dark, which would be zero. And blues and purples are toward the top of the scale. Also, your power button here does something really cool. So right now, if you look at the power button, I'm actually in low gain. This kind of lets you know when you kick into a high gain mode. But I'm at the top of low gain because I've got blue lights right here. I'm going to hold that down, and you're going to see that power button now illuminate. It's kind of subtle, might be hard to see on camera, but that now illuminates to let me know I'm in high gain. And then it just restarts at red and goes back up to the blue-purple colors for high. Uh, when using my LCD X's here, to get the volume that I wanted, I did have to kick it into high gain, but even so, it didn't sound stressed. It was really starting to deliver. You see this new button right here denoted by the little M symbol? This is your menu button, one of two new buttons on the Mojo 2 as opposed to the Mojo 1. The Mojo 1 just had 
volume, basically. And you'd use those to power it on, power it off, everything. When you hit menu, you can use this first page to adjust brightness. You can go over here and then use this one to start adjusting equalizer settings and it will light up more so on one side of the volume than the other. Since each of these little buttons light up here, and red is gonna be your lower frequencies, yellow is going to be your mid lows, that's going to be your mid highs, and that's going to be your high frequencies. So you get like a four band EQ on here that has a nice range of adjustment. Like you can go pretty far to either side up and down. It actually smooths that out a little bit around the surrounding frequency ranges so this covers more ground and doesn't come off as being such a sharp adjustment in just one given area. So as you dial this in, you can get a really nice smoothed over sound to whatever kind of profile that you want. And I can't really think of a portable product that's done anything quite like that until now. And Chord's implementation here is really cool. The only thing I learned on this is what the different menu button colors mean as you're going through it. You might have to memorize those, but that's easy because they give you a quick reference card as in boom, here's what that means. Just take a quick look at this. Easy. Looking at the side here, we can see our inputs. We've got USB-C, finally, yes. We've got micro usb in, and then micro usb in for charging. These are actually two different circuits for charging and for input of data, as in what you're listening to. So while the Mojo does maintain all of the great signal quality features of the original, and it does add that USB-C, and I'm still very happy about that, don't get me wrong, it would be nice to see that unified into a single USB-C at some point. But at least Cord is on the path to our modern connectivity paradise, and I'm at least happy to see that. We've also got an optical in as well as a mini coaxial in. So you've got a lot of input options for a portable DAC amp, which is pretty cool. Flipping around, we still have two three and a half millimeter headphone connectors for our output. So you can actually use this with a friend. Taking a bus ride, sitting on the plane, you and a buddy, spouse, whatever, both of you bring a pair of headphones, good to go. Now, of course, those are three and a half millimeter adapters, as I just mentioned, which are the most popular in the world and the most common on portable products anyway. But when you get into higher end headphones like the X's here, they often come with quarter inch. So don't forget your quarter inch to three and a half millimeter adapter or quarter inch to eighth inch. So if you order yourself a Mojo 2, and a sweet pair of headphones like the X's over at Sky. Don't forget to get yourself an adapter over there too. So the DAC inside the Mojo 2 is something else. Not only is it that Cord FPGA type DAC, that proprietary in-house design that they're famous for, and you could certainly expect it to be good, but basically it's more than twice as good as what most CDs are capable of playing back by rough measure. As for the amplifier in the Mojo, as this is a portable DAC amp combo, let's talk about that amp. It was capable of powering the LCD X's just fine. I did have to go into high gain, which surprised me a little bit because these are only 20 ohm headphones and also very sensitive. Even going into high gain in about 40% volume of that high gain sounded really good. Uh, it sounded pretty effortless. Didn't sound like this was breaking a sweat. The amp didn't get that hot or stressed out by any means and the headphones sound great. I probably wouldn't run this with like a really super demanding headphone, but for most headphones, most hi-fi headphones, even some of the higher impedance ones without being all the way up here at 600 ohms, it's gonna do just fine. And pretty much all of your headphones that have portability in mind to begin with, don't even worry about that. And to cap off our little features portion here, there's just one more thing to add. One little detail, one very good little detail. This has an eight hour battery life. When you're driving powerful headphones and doing really good conversions in a package this small, whose only job is sound good, that's pretty good battery life to go with it. However, if you want to use your Mojo at home, say on your desktop setup, you absolutely can. The Mojo 2, again over the Mojo 1, this is a very nice feature brought down from its bigger brother, the Hugo and this is awesome by the way, is a permanent desktop power mode. You'll get a purple indicator light for that. You can just leave this connected all the time, sitting on your desktop, not worrying about the battery or anything else. 
On the old Mojo, that wasn't the best idea because there wasn't really a cutoff for the battery and the thing would just get really hot and stay that way all the time. Mojo 2 is good for it though. If you're looking for basically the best pocketable, portable DAC amp combo with great connectivity options and the ability to listen with a friend if you got two pairs of headphones, this is the gold standard, it was the gold standard, and will continue to be the gold standard now in the Mojo 2. And you can pick up the Mojo 2 at skybygramophone.com for just under $800. Fast and free shipping straight to your door. You can find all kinds of audio products, including desktop sized DAC amps, standalone DACs, big old headphone amps, or of course, products like the Audizy LCD X and many, many more. We've got something for your needs. Also, don't forget about our showrooms, Columbia, Timonium, and Gaithersburg. We have cord products on display at all the different showrooms, so just give us a call ahead of time and we'll make sure we have the right one for you to check out. And while you're out, don't forget about our beautiful Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley, the first place you should go when you're considering a home remodel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to answer the question of the day in the comments. And while you're down there, tell me if you have any experience with the Mojo, the original one that is, and how you liked it. And are you planning to pick up a Mojo 2, by the way? As always, thank you guys for being here. Please leave me a like if you had a good time. Be seeing you.